What song is this? You know the vibes. You know the vibes. Wait. Don't step on my. Uh, don't step on my penis. Uh, I've been riding with the Nina. Big dread, young nigga, I'm the meanest. Why they always tell the lies? I don't believe it. Lately, had to pray to God for the long. I don't even think I got a fucking soul. I feel normally nice. I'm on the road. I've been swerving. I've been swiping up the zones. I'm in the own. What's up guys, Shanti Alba Reacts, and I'm back with another reaction video, but this time, I'm not going to be reacting to music, instead, I'll be reacting to this video from Vice Asia called 1-4, Australia's First Drill Rappers, and as most of my subscribers already know, a few days ago, I just recently started listening to 1-4, and I've been liking their music a lot so far, so I just thought I would react to this video, but if you guys want me to react to more stuff, just let me know in the comments below, and also, thank you guys for helping me reach 50 subscribers on the road to 100, let's get there soon. Now on to the reaction. Let's go. If you're from what you see me, you know that this is a warzone. Oh yeah. And I know that guy and YP are locked up right now. But I still don't know much about them because I just learned about them a few days ago. Retaliation is a must. I know my people so fast. I'm in the streets on the other side. I don't want to end up in cuffs. I don't want to end up in cuffs. She got caught and he left his eyes on shit and he still left talking to her. I'm interested to hear what Australian drill sounds like. Guys, it's getting viral on Twitter, right? Yeah. I didn't even know what drill music was until a few days ago. <laughs> let me, let me repeat that. <laughs> okay. For me, drill music is storytelling. Storytelling about um, your upbringing and what you've gone through and what you witnessed, you know? Okay. I like that. If you know who's in Sydney, anyone in Sydney can tell you that Matthew's got a name for Riley. We could actually okay. explain our stories through music. We could actually paint that picture. We could mm. relate. We can relate to shooting the same. We can relate to stabbing the punch on the dog. I'm gonna be shooting a clip tonight. Everyone's gonna be there. <laughs> That's crazy. Just across the street from where I live, a kid shot another kid. And it was like a few months ago. I don't know exactly when. I think the kids were like around 16, 17. But I don't really know what happened to the kid that shot the other kid. But I know that the kid that did get shot, he survived. I don't know why I just thought about that right now. But onto the video. Blocks and that. Show you the hood out here. Anyone's gonna come out tonight. You're growing up here, yeah, you gotta have a dirt bike, you know? Just in case they wanna have fun and get away from the pigs and that. We'll have a couple bikes running the shoot as well, you'll see tonight. <laughs> we're, we're Australia's first and only drill group. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what makes us a drill group is that we actually do what we rap about. Okay. And through its home, you know? Yeah, it's a big place. The trenches. This is the area that needs the most support, you know? Yeah. It's, it's different to out near the beaches, you know? No one from the beaches comes around here. When I'm out and about and I'm out of the area, I do get homesick. We dress different out here, we talk different. Usually people walk through their shocks, TNs, maxis, truckies, you know? I'm messing with certain people in the Australian accent, but you know, they just hear stories and rap it. When other people, they're doing it, and then they rap it. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we're not, you know, rappers being gangsters. We're, we've done it, and now we're rapping, you know, we're telling our story. Yeah. Say something for the camera, also. Say something for the camera. Tell them what, tell them what, to ha what, tell them what used to happen in here, in this garage here. Oh. Tell them where you are right now. Yeah. 100, bro. I'm shooting 
Wait, does that mean he's out right now? Because he's still locked up. Let me know in the comments where Sally's at right now. Business and that, like touring is what you want to be and what you want to do. But what's been holding us back is like the boys' legals. You know, the boys are going. We got we got some boys that that do rap and are at court at the moment. My boys getting pinched off. My friend Sally, you know, he could have been out here. Rapping still, but you know, you just couldn't leave the streets and that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that must be hella hard though. Hundred, bro. Yeah, that's what song is this? Hey, let me know in the comments what song that was. This is Selly's. What was Selly's one? One of Selly's favorite houses is a fucking vendor. I mean, all the boys we used to drink in here, we used to have fires and that, you know? I don't know what's going on now. No one's here anymore, but yeah. I remember I came here one night. I was with Paulie. And um, I was sitting at this house and fucking Lindy came out of nowhere and I was like, what are you doing? And chopper everywhere. And he was like, oh, you pulled it out. I was like, cuz I'm fucking hiding this. And I was That's like, crazy. Oh, I'm like, nah, can't. You fool got pinched for that night too. Little boy too. Little white boy. You got up to here. Shoulder, yeah. You know, when you don't know how to fight, you gotta, you know, you gotta use what's around you. <laughs> I put that away, man. Oh, that's crazy. I'm telling you, that was our best friend for a good night, fucking bro. year and a half, Every mate. night, bro. Get up with that every night. Every day, the very special spot. First time I ever got jumped out to me. Dang. Oh. I need to react to this song. Cause I know you guys commented it. I'll react to it later. to find out our age and that. All of a sudden, you're free to go. You know, no charges laid or nothing. You know. And we used to be cheering. You know, yeah, we we got away with it, but really, and they're just cleaning up their tracks and then must go home and that. You know. Then of the day, they're trying to do their job, but they've done more than that. I remember Al, one of James brothers, and um, they pinched him. And they gave him a big beard and his face was not, not normal, you know? That's crazy. He just chucked him out the truck. They, they, they are my front door every day. I'm not even on bail, not, not, not on nothing anymore. But they still show up being menaces and that. So, got no love for them. If this video gets anywhere, tell, tell whoever's up there to fix the reception out here. We've got no reception on our phones and that. You can never get through to anyone, I swear. No, that's why a lot of people don't talk to me, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like every house that I walk past has got dogs in it. Because the time that it was used to be so hard back in the day. All of these boys, freaking enemies and all that. Mm -hmm. So nearly every second house has a dog, two or one, I don't know what There's a lot of straight dogs around here, you know? We used to get chased by a lot of them. A lot of, a lot of our boys got a lot of chubby boys, you know, that can't get away in that, you know? So when we used to hit the fences and that, and they couldn't hit the fences properly, we had to jump down and that, and like, you know, just cause distractions and that, you know? <laughs> This is where everything started, you know? All the boys used to link up back in the days, like three, four, maybe five years ago. Yeah. We were all real young, you know, still in school and that. We all used to kick back in this garage here. And we used to label them one four parties. Everyone from the area would come and they'd go off, you know? And everyone used to turn on the coppers after the parties were getting shut down and that. Everyone would just wait for the end and just try to turn on the cops when they used to pull through, you know? Yeah. Bottles, rocks, everything. People would end up on top of the houses and that. I think people used to come to the party just to watch the fights afterwards as well. Yeah, people used to punch on, you know. Back in the day, you'd, you'd get your name out for being like a mad fighter or, you know, doing the craziest stunts. Mm. So, you know, if this kid, you know, actually heard that this kid, you know, ran up into a school and just, you know, laid in the gun, you know, he'd get a big name out in the street saying, you know, oh, that guy did this. Yeah. And someone would try and do a crazier thing, you know. I like this song. But yeah, upside position. We 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 adopted we adopted that that one from UK and US. They said up first, but around here. A real filthy word to call your enemies like dogs and gronks, you know what I mean? That's Aussie slang, you know? Yeah, dog, you know? And a rude word, rude word. Real disrespectful word, you know what I mean? When you get called that, they're just labeling you with like, 
at the lowest, you know what I mean? Here in Australia. Damn, yeah, really? It's all up to you. That's your pride you want to take care of. Well, he's got a drink. Give me a drink, bro. Let's have a drink, bro. Might as well pop one open, eh? Australia's finest. Woodstock, bro. Yeah, this is our, this is our Jack Daniels and our Jim Bean. Hey, breakfast for panadol though. So tonight we'll be heading over to Emma. We're gonna shoot for our new single called Spot the Difference. Uh, you just see okay. uh, you just see more boys, you know? You see more gang in that. So it'll be a good shoot too, because it's good energy and good vibes when it comes to this shoot, you know? Now it's good just to see everyone together, you know, everyone gets to turn in front of the camera. It's good to see everyone just have fun in that, you know? Okay. Just imagine doing a music video and then you have all your homies behind you and around you. That's cool. It's live. Oh yeah, now we just do music videos here, so because we can't tour and that, but yeah, music videos help uh, our views as well, you know. In Australia, not not many people do what we're doing, so it's it's good to see Australia do things like this. It's it's out of the ordinary for some people. We're just one of many that made a voice for everyone to hear about. Mm. We're one of them that, that just made it out, let the whole world know. I like that. Okay. Alright, so that was it for my reaction, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, I got to know a little bit more about the group and I'm still gonna continue reacting to their music because I just wanna hear more. But if you guys want me to react to more stuff, just let me know in the comments below. And also, we're on the road to 100 subscribers, guys. Thank you guys for the support. 
let's reach 100 real soon and if you guys haven't yet remember to like comment and if you're new to my channel subscribe and hit that bell notification too so you guys know when i make a new video thank you guys for watching see you guys later okay bye Baby, tell me what's wrong, eh? Let me know what you want, eh? Trying to see what you want, girl, I know what